The IB Science Weekend is an opportunity for students to engage in inquiry-based science at George School. And it's a wonderful opportunity for them to use their best creative thinking and critical thinking skills as they come up with a question that's related to the theme. This year our theme is food. And then design and implement an experiment that will bring for them accurate and reliable data. Things like digestion, any type of chemical reaction that deals with food, preservation of food, anything regarding food was completely open to be an experiment. And it was really interesting because I love food a lot. From that you can do whatever you want. And just the idea of seeing how many ways you can go with just one word, it was really fun for me to see. Our experiment was comparing the most alkaline way that you can make coffee, organic or inorganic, cold or hot brewed. And since coffee is something that people drink every single day, we figured we should find the most alkaline brand of coffee and the most alkaline way to brew it. My group project was the reaction between glucose oxidase and glucose. My science project was whether there was more vitamin C in frozen or fresh strawberries. This topic was really interesting for me because I like to make a lot of smoothies. Our IB science project involved taking different kinds of beef, cooking it and seeing how much fat was released. We're just basically trying to see if George School can grow their own crops and reduce the amount of money and energy we spend buying food from outside. It's a lot of soil that we have to look at, a lot of testing. My partner and I decided to test the water retention in different types of soil. And we actually decided to grow green beans and radishes in the different soil mixtures to see which would be most compatible with a quick germinating seed. During IB Science Weekend, my group was looking at uh, how wavelength and the lights affected photosynthesis rates. We took spinach leaves and we hole punched them and made small bits and then we put them in a syringe and basically we took out all the O2 in the leaves so they float to the bottom. We used different color lights to see how they would help in photosynthesizing the plants. So we looked at sunlight, red light, blue light, green light. I think something that's really interesting about the IB Group 4 project is that we're given this general topic and I think it's amazing how everyone comes up with these different experiments and you really choose something that, that's interesting to you and you get to spend a lot of time on it obviously like most labs like at max will be like two hours while this was over the span of a day or two and so you can really do a lot more with it. Diving into this one thing for such a long time is really interesting. We have time to run different trials and we have time to adjust and be very flexible and I think having the whole entire weekend, it just gives us a real opportunity to analyze our results and have the best success. Most of the time we're presented with a already pre-discovered and predetermined experiment that we know that works. So thinking of something and making something up that we're not sure what the results are going to be, it's you know hard and tiring but also exhilarating because we are doing real science. It's extremely gratifying to know that I can go ahead and take what I've learned from my biology class as well as my chemistry class and even maybe a little bit of my physics class regarding some equipment. And I can bring all of that together in order to collect results that I know will actually mean something and that I know will have some type of scientific value. What I've kind of learned is we have the power to be scientists ourselves. And science is one of the really rare disciplines where you can bring all your knowledge together and ask questions. And especially during this weekend, you get to go and find out your answers. The part that makes this a George School experience for me is I get to do it with a bunch of people who are there to help me and do it with a crowd of people who are cheering us on. And at the end of the day, you feel accomplished because you've put together a project that is your own. You've put together your own question and you get to go into the world knowing that you know a little bit more about it.